Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Today, we're gonna tackle one of our bigger challenges, actually. The reason being that I'm still not entirely sure what my plan is for getting through the raid on Paul's apartment without letting anyone die. But I'll think of something when I get there. We're back in Hell's Kitchen. This is our second visit. We're gonna end up at NSF headquarters, but we'll begin by revisiting all the other side areas in Hell's Kitchen that we can get to. Let's talk to Jock to start things off. He doesn't have much time. Be discreet. He doesn't want any trouble with UNATCO. Be discreet. He doesn't want any trouble with UNATCO. The brother's hurt pretty bad. You'll find him at the apartment. If he can walk, get him to come with you. I can pick you guys up in Battery Park. So my primary goal is your brother's in trouble. Go to the apartment in Hell's Kitchen and see if he needs your help. Well, that's all well and good. I guess we can... Yeah, we can clear out the Tawn before we do anything else. Let's see what all we can find in here. There's Paul. I'll talk to him in a minute. Vishnu's Fall is still the same. Uh, chapter 12 of Jacob's Shadow we've already read. Man Who Was Thursday, we've already read. Let's open the secret room. Let me make sure there's nothing else around. Alright. In here, there's a new multi-tool, a new lockpick, another augmentation upgrade canister, assault rifle ammo, pistol bullets, that data cube is the same, so let's read his email. P. Denton Chameleon, if you'd forgotten. No email today. Okay, let's talk to Paul. Is this kill switch real? What's it going to do to you? I'm afraid that's, uh, classified. Manderly said you're going to die. You've got to have God clearance to... to know. The nanites can be programmed for exponential growth. There's a chopper that can take us to Hong Kong. You know, Jock? First, you're the only one that can help. I need to send the NSF distress code. UNATCO tracked Lebedev to the other NSF bases, and a silhouette in France. I came to get you out of here. JC, you've got to believe me. UNATCO takes... payoffs. Silhouette, the other terrorist groups, they're our allies. You've done what you can for the Rebels. Let's go. You want proof? Pay a visit to the NSF headquarters. Down in the basement, protected by booby traps, a data cube sits on the edge of a table. My report to the militia leaders. Here, I have a photograph of the building. It's a couple blocks to the west, behind the bar. And I suppose while I'm there, you want me to encrypt a signal with the NSF transmitter? Bypass UNATCO SIGINT? A lot of people could die. My friend Chad, for example, the leader of Silhouette. I'll check out the facility, but I can't promise I'll help the terrorists. Be ready to leave for Hong Kong when I get back. New goal, investigate the captured NSF base to the west behind the bar to see if Paul is telling the truth about UNATCO. If he is, help the Rebels by sending a distress signal from the satellite transmitter. You sure you're alright? No worse than a bad cold. What kills me is just... that they have this kind of power. The power, yes, but the fact that it's been there from the beginning. A lot of things are starting to make sense. You remember Mom and Dad? You think they knew? Lebedev thought so. He said they were employees of the United Nations. They would never have agreed to anything like a kill switch. Remember, I knew them longer than you did, and after what Tong showed me, I'm pretty certain we don't have a stitch of DNA in common with either of our supposed parents. They've opened up the street behind the bar. The NSF base is on the other side of the tunnel. Silhouette's not much to speak of militarily, but you might call them the brains of the resistance movement. They go after public opinion. If it wasn't for Silhouette, there'd be a half a dozen meaningless civil wars going on instead of any kind of worldwide struggle. Ironically, to fight the one-worlders, we ourselves have to become a global organization. It's been easier than we expected. Average people are beginning to wake up to the fact that bigger isn't better. A few bureaucrats in New York can't make good decisions for New Jersey, let alone Paris, or a village in China. 
That kind of centralization can only lead to precisely the debacle that the UN has become. Somehow the notion of unalienable liberty got lost. It's really become a question of what liberties will the state assign to individuals? Or rather, what liberties will we have the strength to cling to? It's only a matter of time before someone clever and ambitious figures out that the tools of dictatorship have been ready-made by well-meaning governments all over the world. UNATCO, for instance, a global response to a common problem. Looks good on paper, but a global military force is hard to keep accountable. UNATCO's already in the wrong hands. I don't know whose hands, but you'll find records of outside influence if you dig around the NSF headquarters. You better get moving. You better get moving. All right, he's done. Let's visit the rest of the town before we do anything else. Oh, there you go. We can get into the north room still, I think. Nothing on the balcony. I think the dead junkies are gone now, too. There's a med kit to be found in here. Oh, nope, they're still here. But their uh, Zyme vials haven't respawned. More's the pity. That's it, let's check the elevator shaft and then head downstairs. Let's check the top level first. It's a weapon mod up here. Accuracy. Let's head down to the ground level. I see a crate down here. Got a multi-tool inside. Let's head out to ground level. If I remember right, something's going on down here. He's not my boyfriend. And what is he? He's Jojo God. I don't like him staying in my hotel. Then evict him. How'd you get mixed up with someone like that in the first place? Jesus, Dad, do you expect me to do it? It's your hotel. I just don't want any trouble. Then get used to it. JoJo's the boss on the street. Nothing anybody can do about it. See, there's a 50 credit shit here, and if we do this right, we can get Sandra to stay with her dad. I can't remember what to do, though. What's the trouble? None of your business. One of the neighborhood thugs, Jojo. He thinks he owns the block. I can straighten him out. Just tell me where he is. I get some rough people in here, but this guy, I don't know, he's jumpy. He's just a punk. I'll take care of it. Can you help me out? I could really use a gun for protection. I would rather not arm a civilian. You weren't gonna shoot nobody anyway, Jesus. What am I going to do? Besides, it's against the law for civilians to carry weapons. Tell that to the gangsters. He wasn't going to stand up to Jojo anyway. He wasn't going to stand up to Jojo anyway. He pays off the cops so there's nothing I can do. He pays off the cops so there's nothing I can do. Now there's Jojo. Oh, you bad. Keep out of the way. You deaf? You deaf? Now, he'll come down here and talk to them eventually. But if you give Gilbert the pistol, he ends up killing Jojo, so I don't want to do that. You deaf? I'm not sure what's going to happen here, though. What you just lying around for, girl? What? I told you, Bar Rush is money. It's business. In a minute. That's my daughter you're talking to. I already explained it, old man. Your girl, she needs me. She don't got an education, and all you got to give her is a job killing rats. This is my hotel. I want you to leave. Next thing is, I explain it to Lo Bruto. Is that what you want? I'll go already. Leave him alone. I don't care what happens to me. Stay away from my little girl. Get him! Ooh. All 
All right, let's let them settle down. Jojo had a stealth pistol and a crowbar. I don't particularly care for the stealth pistol. I just need to wait for these two to settle down. You saved my life. I was hoping I'd run into that punk. Are you nuts? You almost got yourself killed. You can relax now. No more getting bossed around. <sighs> no thanks to you. If it wasn't for JC, we'd both be dead. You want to go through your whole life with guys like Jojo? Is that it? God, I can't stand this place. I think you'll be happier without that guy around. I'm leaving. I'm getting on a bus and going west until I run out of money or get to the ocean, whichever comes first. Come on, Sandra. I just wanted to help. I mean it. I'm leaving. Around here, all you can be is a bum. I'm not gonna live like that. I think I'll go to Eugene, Oregon. I think I'll go to Eugene, Oregon. If you let Gilbert kill JoJo, she stays here, but if she leaves, we'll run into her later. So, it doesn't matter much. I don't think she's coming back this time. I just don't understand. Why won't she listen? Oh, Jesus, Sandra! Oh, Sandra! Oh, Jesus, Sandra! Oh, Sandra! Okay. Well, now that these ATMs are up and running again, hopefully this pin number works this time. No dice. Two hundred credits, all right. Public access. Terrorist attack at LaGuardia. The recent terrorist attack on Liberty Island and the resultant reprisal by UNATCO forces appears to have spilled over onto a private airfield at LaGuardia Airport, where fighting is still ongoing at last report. All inbound flights are being rerouted to John F. Kennedy International Airport, while outbound flights have been suspended until further notice. Look for further updates as more information becomes available. Page donates to area clinics. Today, Bob Page made a record donation of over 10 million credits to the Clinics and Hospices Association of New York, the largest private donation in the organization's history. Already strained to the breaking point by the influx of patients suffering from the Grey Death, the donation was a gift from God, according to Ray Kobo, Deputy Director of CHANY. This couldn't have come at a better time and should allow us to dramatically improve our services. It was the right thing to do, commented Page. When I was in New York recently, the suffering that I saw on the streets was unconscionable. Thomas Aquinas, a personal icon, worked his entire life to ease such terrible pain. This is the very least I could do. So we'll head out front now. <clears throat> and for now, I think I'll just clear the streets before I do anything else. Let's check this alley first, talk to the two bums back here. No escape. It's already too late for you. Came at us with everything they had, cut us to pieces even before we could take Washington State. They have us outnumbered. Some of us will be heroes, the rest of us will walk away on both legs. They have you, Sonny. They have you this time. No escape. Sick of being shoved around. I'm just minding my own business. You better stay away from the apartment on the second floor. That guy's packing, and he doesn't like people messing with his stuff. Back off, buddy. I'd stay out of the streets if I was you. I'd stay out of the streets if I was you. All right. Check the park. There's a cop here we can speak to, but uh, you'll notice that Osgood and Sons is now inaccessible. Bars over the window. Your buddies at Unatco asked us to steer people away from the town. 
Now this block is about to heat up again. Clear the streets, no exceptions. We're telling everyone to leave the neighborhood. This one may get out of control. Keep moving, Agent. This area has been declared a UNATCO security zone. Please comply with the evacuation notice. This area has been declared a UNATCO security zone. Can't get in through the door either. So... We'll visit Smuggler in a bit, but... For now... I'm gonna make sure there's nothing in any of these spots. Ah, bioelectric cell. Let's look at the basketball court in the back alley. Everything I can do without changing maps. Nothing back here, nothing at all. Let's check the subway. Hey, Mr. Unatco man, you guys going after Jojo? I'm not going after anybody. That's pretty logical. Him being hit out in the town. Jojo Fine of the NSF? The whole street's a Unatco security zone. That's why they sent me down here. They're gonna take that punk out and no one's gonna miss him. You can forget about Jojo. I left him on his back in the hotel. Really? That's it? He's not going to be a problem anymore. Does that mean the evacuation's over? You better stay here until the police say it's okay. I gotta use the street to get home. They got Jojo. What more do they need to do? Man, I can't believe that guy's dead. I've been dreaming about this day. I can't wait to tell Janie. Thanks, man. Really. They got Jojo. What more do they need to do? Alright, well we can't get into the subway yet. So let's go over here now. There's a newspaper out here. Ten dead in gang slaying. APR, Hong Kong, China. The simmering gang war in Hong Kong exploded onto the streets overnight when ten were killed during an attack on a local establishment, the Lucky Money Club. Located in the Wan Chai District, the Lucky Money Club has generally been associated with organized criminal activity. Eyewitness reports were few, but local authorities suspect that members of the Luminous Path Triad may have been involved in the attack. All ten victims had extensive criminal records. Each was killed with traditional weapons, their throats savagely cut in an ancient ritual typically employed, employed as a punishment for betrayal. If we head down there, that takes us to the NSF headquarters, so obviously that's the last thing we're going to do. Oh, there's a data cube back here. One World Banking, 3 Plaza 1, New York. The future of banking is one world. Mr. Renton, as requested, we've provided you with a copy of your bank account and PIN number. We appreciate your business and look forward to answering any other questions you might have. Account number 487659, PIN number 249087. Please keep this record in a secure location to prevent unauthorized use of your account. Awesome. Alright. Oh yes, one other thing to notice, we can't get into the free clinic. So let's hit the bar. Pretty sure there's still nothing in the bathrooms, but it's always worth checking. There's Harley Philbin. Let's talk to him. Here's a tip for free. Take cover. Yanako's about to do a raid. All they said was, clear out, we're coming in. Good to see you Yanako boys know how to clean up this town. I hear Yanako's got a team going over the old NSF hideout. Probably put me out of business. By morning, Yanako will know everything there is to know about the Rebels. 
I bet I wake up tomorrow and I don't have a job. All they said was, clear out, we're coming in. There's a data cube over here. Image Millennium Magazine, we already had that. The bar is just about empty, but we've got Joe Green and Jordan Shea. Let's talk to Joe first. Perfect. Someone who can tell me about the raid. Like I said before, I don't talk to the press. Why are they closing down the street and shutting down the bar? What could be worse than the fighting earlier this evening? I wish I had an answer to that, but even if I did, it wouldn't be any of your business. How about I interview you? Tell me what you've dug up on the raid. What's the matter? Did they leave you out of a loop? I'm the one asking the questions. Must be a high-level operation. I'd sure like to know what it is. All right, forget it. I'll find out on my own. Place is almost empty. I could sure use better contacts at UNATCO. Let me know if you hear anything. I could sure use better contacts at UNATCO. All right, let's talk to Jordan Che now. Hey, you know the Rentons, right? There's trouble at the ton. I already took care of that punk Jojo, if that's what you mean. Really? He's dead? Surprised? I'm just glad to see that someone gives a damn about the Rentons. Unatco seems to think they have bigger fish to fry. Nothing, but thanks. Down here, she's got a sawed-off shotgun and some buckshot. That's nothing new. If we head out here, we find the two ATMs. I'm gonna try the... Accounts I had before, no dice. 487 was that right? No. 487 Nothing? I guess we probably had to do that one in the ton before we hacked that ATM. That sucks. Seventy-seven credits, okay. Four eight seven six five nine. Nothing. All right, all right. They'll just hack it, man. Thirty-nine credits. Yahoo. Think these public access terminals say the same things? Yep. So let's roll. Next, let's bounce down to the sewers. There's not a whole lot we can do down here this trip. You'll see what I mean. There's some pistol ammo. A dead MJ-12 trooper. There's nothing down in the lower level anymore, which is good. We get 60 skill points for coming back here, though. That's nice. And we also get a thermoptic camo. Another dead body. More pistol ammo. We head over here. MJ-12 coup d'etat does still work. We can rotate the bridge. There are no cameras, though. However, we can open the door, which is nice. We head over to the main side first. You'll see the base is sealed off. Let's head up now. Back across the bridge. head down here. There's some sniper rifle ammo. A 
another corpse. Uh, these lasers, I think, still work. Two one six seven still works. So let's just head into the other sewer entrance to check out that side of the passage. That makes the most sense to me. So obviously there was some kind of purge down here. Let's uh, go to the subway and try the other sewer entrance. up here but a bioelectric cell. And pistol ammo. None of that's really worth the effort, so let's just head back out. We are going to go visit Smuggler, because we can still do that. That'll be the last thing we do before we actually head to MSF HQ. Yes. Password. Bloodshot. See, no ammo this time. Any skill points? I have 2463. Here, a lock pick. And here, a multi tool, which is good because we need to bypass this again. So when we roll into smugglers. We get another 20 skill points, like we did the first time. Tell Paul he better lay low for the next few hours. Now what do you want? Anything for sale? Hey, about your brother. If he's in Hell's Kitchen, he's a sitting duck. So you heard that he went over to the NSF? Yanatko's got this place nailed down. One thing they can't stand, an agent gone AWOL. Maybe I should prepare for the worst. What do you have for me? I have an extended clip that'll fit most handguns and rifles for 1,500 credits, a range weapon mod for 2,400, and a napalm canister that fits most flamethrowers for 2,250. I'm gonna take the range mod for my crossbow. I'll give you 2,400 for the range mod. Deal. Put it on my crossbow. Accurate range is up to 60 feet. Awesome. I've heard talk of a raid on the town. Let's hack Smuggler's computer right quick. From Public Terminal, subject, need passage. You met me once when doing business with Lebedev. I got the impression you were a professional then, so I'm going to try and handle this professionally now. I need passage out of this city underneath the official radar for me and two other people. The best thing is to stay out of Yanak Cosway.
I wonder if it doesn't work anymore. Let's up the ante and make sure. If this doesn't work, I don't want to waste a rocket. That'll work just fine. Clip and recoil. Same old, same old. Drop them both in the pistol because it's the only thing that can take them. The best thing is to stay out of your neck, Cosway. We're prepared to keep our mouths shut and we're prepared to pay. We don't care how and we don't care where. Hong Kong, Lagos, Paris if you can, but anywhere that's outside of the country. I've hacked this terminal with an account that should be active for the next 24 hours. I'll check it periodically for your response. Decker. Tell Paul he better lay low for the next few hours. What else did he have? This is what I've got. Uh, the extended clip is not worth the credits. Not interested. But the range mod is a very good thing to have. This is what I've got. Not interested. From Level Beam, subject regarding polio vaccinations, Jimmy Hoskins wrote, Why Crystal Palace is only the upper level of a much larger repository of data, complete genetic records of every human being on Earth gathered during the polio vaccinations. Supplemented by periodic influenza vaccinations since then. In truth, the whole idea that Crystal Palace was HQ to NORAD was a brilliant deception as a secret Soviet-American pact. Come on, Jimmy, in her 2013 book... A lot to read, and we don't have the password, unfortunately. The wheels come off. Ophelia Carter persuasively demonstrated that, that there could have been no Soviet-American pact, as America had already sold out to the Greys. Far from being shams, the polio and influenza outbreaks of the later 20th century... merely test runs in a larger governmental biowarfare program that uses its own populace as guinea pigs. Next time, get your facts straight. Shiro Yoshitaka, when everything is permitted, nothing is free. Shik has no email today. Tell Paul he better lay low for the next few hours. Alright, we're out of here. Time to head to NSF HQ. down this street, actually, now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see what we can find back here. Assault rifle ammo. Buckshot. Prod charger. More buckshot. And a trooper. I thought they were shipping you off to Hong Kong. Had to pack a few things. What's going on here? Damage control. The NSF got their hands on some pretty sensitive material. Probably had something to do with my two-faced brother. Nothing we can't clean up. Mind if I take a look around? Go right ahead. Let's talk to this guy. I don't care what they say. Paul was a great agent. I hate to see him go. By morning, you won't even know the terrorists were here. You still haven't found what we're looking for. Gotta make my rounds, Agent. We think there's a secret level below the base, but no one's sure. Glad you could lend a hand. The guys inside know more about what's going on. I don't care what they say. Paul was a great agent. I hate to see him go. Now trust me on this. We need to take this guy down now. Non-lethally, of course. Just a nice little baton whack. I don't have room for the assault rifle, but I can take the combat knife at least. Medical crate has a med kit. I'm already maxed out on those. All right, this map change is the perfect opportunity for me to take just a little break. I'll be right back. Sorry about the hiccup, folks. Here we go. You'll need to send the signal from the satellite dish on the top of the warehouse. If you're unable to hack the computers up there, you'll need the instructions and account information Lebedev sent me. One of our agents who tried to send the signal but got run off left the data cube in a secret area below the garage. Look for a hatch under some boxes. A computer on the third floor can unlock the hatch. All right. Note received. To access the NSF transmitter, either hack the satellite dish computer system on the roof and send the warning message directly, or one, unlock a hatchway in the garage with a computer on the third floor, two, get the login to the satellite dish computer from the secret area below this hatch, then three, use the transmitter on the roof to send the warning message. Just keeping busy got a lot of work to do. Turns out your brother was stealing balance sheets from UNATCO's accounting department. The civilian authorities will take over tomorrow. I can't imagine what the rebels thought they'd find. A 10,000 credit toilet seat? The NSF sure put up a fight this time. Pardon me, sir. Someone should check out the roof. I think we found all of the data. Turns out your brother was stealing balance sheets from UNATCO's accounting department. Alright, let's drop this guy. <laughs> Need to make sure we're out of sight of anyone else when we do it or they'll turn hostile. Oh, it's not going to let me move the body unless I manage to pick up the assault rifle. Well, I only have three open squares. I don't really need the th thermoptic camo. Well, I do. I want to hold on to it, but... Let's do that for now. Alright. We're still good. That's all I needed. Still can't move the bodies. Hmm. 
Still haven't dropped the assault rifle. Let alone the knife. Alright, good. Except now I think I forgot to talk to those two dudes. Let me upgrade my real save, just so I can avoid repeating that if their voice sets are the same. Just keeping busy. We've got a lot of work to do. Turns out your brother was stealing balance sheets from Unatco's accounting department. Good, they were the same. Now I can upgrade the quick save. Get my camo back. Make sure the outside's clear. I don't know why I'm suddenly feeling so violent toward all these boxes. I got a guy up here. Just keeping busy. Same voice said as the others. Let's take him down. Ugh. Ugh. Die! He's got an assault rifle too, but there's no need for me to move his body. He's secure where he is. I think that's it for the outside, so we can head in now. It can be a delicate thing getting all of them without alerting anybody, especially here on the ground level. I think that's hardest. But it's eminently doable. Just have to time it right. Just keeping busy. We've got a lot of work to do. Now this body, I'm pretty sure I do need to move. So... It. Real quick, like. Maybe it's time I just used some of these upgrades. But I'd really rather hold on to them. Alright, so far, so good. I got three wanderers. We got some rockets here. Turns out your brother was stealing balance sheets from Unatco's accounting department. The civilian authorities will take over tomorrow. I can't imagine what the rebels thought they'd find. A 10,000 credit toilet seat? Can't have that. It is pretty important that around this juncture to start saving your prod ammo. The prod is the only non-lethal way to take down uh, men in black. all getting very tedious. Hide that body in the garage, or the bathroom. Another quick save. Let's just knock them both out. Uh-oh. Someone saw me do that. Someone on the upper levels, no doubt. Yeah, probably that guy in the corner. What the hell? 
Oh, it's dented. Do this yet again. I hate him. Here's the hatch. Pretty obvious once you see, once you find it. Might as well go ahead and get that two percent back. Now let's actually check this ground level out. A hazmat suit. No need for that. Although you'll see why they put it in the level in a minute. Nothing in the bathrooms. So let's head up. Level two. Just keeping busy. It's like just one guy walking around up here. I'm having a hell of a time getting the one whack takedown with the baton, though. <laughs> Everything's still good. Looks like it. Knife and an assault rifle, same as his buddies. I don't think I need to move it. Let's get anyone else who can. You're not clear to be up here, Agent. Crime scene unit personnel only. We will report this intrusion to Walton Simons. This floor is off limits. Where do you think you're going, Agent? We're supposed to defend this area with force, but I guess we'll let you pass. You better have a good reason for being up here. Where do you think you're going, Agent? Okay. Take him down now. Looks like we're still good. Let's nab this last. You're controller. not clear to be up here, Agent. Knife and an assault rifle. I'm sure that's the same as his friend downstairs. Buckshot. Yep, all the same. In here, I think we have a conversation to listen to. It's a living. But what's it for? That's a dumb question. No, really. What does your NATCO need with that kind of money? Just look around. Think your NATCO be handing out assault guns of funding that's left of the UN? Well, the uniforms. If it wasn't for Simons, we'd still be wearing those little white helmets. Yeah. He's what they call a philanthropist. Acts this file? Yeah, all of it. The whole director. What I want to know is what he gets in return. Don't you know what a philanthropist is? Yeah, like Nietzsche. No, a philanthropist, giving to charity. Oh. That's why he volunteered for FEMA, to help out after hurricanes and that kind of thing. That's a lot of money to just give away. Some people are just good, you know, good to the bone. Uh-huh. All right, we need to drop both these guys. We're in the middle of something. We can't work with you here. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. You shouldn't be in here. This area is restricted by order of Walton Simons. I'm gonna have to write you up, Agent. You shouldn't be in here. Leave us alone. 
Okay, I've got them turned away from each other. I don't know if that's gonna suffice or not. Looks like yes. Perfect. Knife and assault rifle. Knife and assault rifle. Nothing else. So we are going to have to use a couple of lock picks, or, nah, let's just blow the door open. That's always easier. That's why I carry a Gep gun. Here, we find what? A bioelectric cell and a data cube. Young, I've got to assist our forces at the airfield, but I've prepped the security grid here in case of attack. If UNATCO does breach our perimeter, log in as T. Jefferson with the password New Revolution and activate it immediately. It should buy you some time, at least long enough to get to the airfield. I know Erin is looking forward to seeing you again. Don't disappoint her. Decker. Alright, let's go up to level 3 now. Do not enter. All, I've released halon gas into the computer room to prevent any fires breaking out in case of assault. Obviously, anyone entering the room unprotected will suffocate. Use a hazmat suit or pump out the gas before entering if you need to perform any maintenance. Decker. So you can just hit that switch back there to turn on the vents and get rid of the gas. You get 30 skill points for getting to the terminal up here. So I'm up to 2513. I think they gave me the code, T. Jefferson, New Revolution. Okay, turn off the camera and open the hatch down on ground level. Let's, uh, let's see, I don't think there were any side areas on level 4, were there? Nope. So we can head down to the basement now. Fifty skill points for making it down here. I'm a pretty big fan of just blowing things up. Smartest thing to blow up is that door. So, there are a couple of crates back here. We've got pistol ammo and assault rifle ammo. Wonder if the same login and passcode work here. T. Jefferson, New Revolution. If I can type it correctly. Yes. Camera off, open the door. Camera off, open the door. Camera off, open the door. That's what we want. All the blast doors are open now. So you just roll right through here. Ooh, I should be careful with this TNT crate. Take it down and toss it while crouched. Got a lockpick here and a multi-tool here. Here's the other side if we had come the long way around. 
instead of just getting through the door. We got a couple of possibilities here. There's a med kit in there. A bunch of laser trip wires and turrets. Kind of business as usual so far as that goes. And it looks like we're gonna have to get by him. There's a multi-tool sitting right here. But I would need two. Well, heck, let's do it. Now you'll immediately notice... What did that even do? A lot of nothing looks like to me. Let's let's quick load. I don't want to waste my multi tools there. Instead, I'm just gonna blow this door like I did before. is, I'm pretty sure I need it open. So, I will go open it. Instead of using a multi-tool that doesn't appear to accomplish anything, let's just use some good old-fashioned TNT. I'm just gonna throw it. Because, as you may remember, if you throw it without crouching, it'll explode when it lands. Let's do the same thing again, just over here. Very nice. Now here, explosions are also all fr our friends. <laughs> Not quite like that, though. Let's grab this again and do this again. Still don't want that if I can help it. Need to get out of the way a little bit faster. But you get the idea. Now from here, let's be a little more careful, because if we blow up the barrel, the, uh, the gas radius does widen to start with, but now it'll eventually dissipate completely, which is good. In the meantime, I'll go all the way back here to restock my pistol ammo.
Just wait, it'll all fade eventually, because we destroyed the leaking barrel. There it goes. Nothing to worry about in here now. Still more junk. White phosphorus, regular explosives, a hazmat suit, and two EMP grenades. Not sure what, if anything, worthwhile is over here. But I do know that through here, we find... Uh, yeah, I can use a lockpick. For a gas grenade, an accuracy mod, and prod ammo. Yes, 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 and yes. Let's go back and restock my lockpick like to stay on top of things. Although I've blown right past the room where I could do that. There we go. That's what I wanted. So two things. You need this data cube on top of the cupboard. You've got what you need to use the transmitter on the roof. Look around in that room. You should find records of the bribes Mandalay has been taking. Then get to the roof, JC. I need you to send that distress signal. Paul, I'm sending this message from the plane. Yanatko has been even more ruthless than we'd feared, and the reports I'm receiving now are that our people are being slaughtered in the tunnels. It's probably only a matter of time before I'm captured and executed, and I don't doubt that they'll kill everyone they can back at our headquarters. If you find this, you must get a message out to our people. Align the communications dishes using the satellite dish control computer. The login is M. Collins and the password is Revolution. Nearby is the actual communications console. Log in using Napoleon and the same password, and a coded warning will automatically be bounced to everyone on our network. I can hear the gunshots. They've reached the plane. I'm sorry I won't be able to thank you in person. You've done much for the peoples of the world. JL. We got 150 skill points for reading that data cube. 2713. And up here... Juan, I have a feeling that one way or another my time here is short, and I think my loyalties are already being questioned. The inevitable complications from the raid are only going to raise more doubts, so I've pulled together everything I could access without raising additional suspicions. Attached, you should find information linking Simons, Manderley, and other high-ranking members of Yanatko through covert communication communications and a series of monetary payments. If you check the records, over 10,000 credits a month is being placed into an anonymous Zurich account routinely accessed by Manderley. The payments were slick, being dispersed through a number of shell companies and orbital banks, but they all eventually originate with companies in which Simons has a controlling interest if you follow the trail far enough back. I also managed to document some of Yunatko's less than shining operations, including their role in the statue bombing. Most disturbing is further verification of Tracer's suspicion that Yunatko may not only be involved with the distribution of Ambrosia, but also with the Grey Death in some way. I've given a copy of all this same material to Jock with orders to deliver it to Tracer if things get as bad as I think they might. Be careful, P. Let's see, is this worth a lockpick? I don't know. So I'll save and find out. Well... I can get a new lockpick easily enough. Because I can just break open the door. I've got 30 bioelectric cells and you can't carry any more than that. Looks like all we got here is... Another general supply crate. And an exit. Takes me back out to the streets. So with that done, let's head up to the roof. <clears throat> oh. 
Up here, I think there are two more troopers. Just keeping busy. <laughs> Knife and assault rifle. One last trooper. Howdy, agent. Guess you have the command now. Just taking a break. Maybe you can cut through the malarkey and get us out of here before morning. From what I can tell, the NSF were fabricating records that said Walton Simons was bribing people at UNATCO. I don't know what they expected to gain from doing that. All a bunch of nonsense. I'm glad we cleaned this place out. They were riling people up with propaganda. Just taking a break. All right, let's knock him out. Let's not fail. Again, let's not fail. No failure would be nice. There we go. Assault rifle and a knife. Same as the other guys. And I think that's everybody, so let's head through here. There's our pistol ammo. In here, we can find a lamb, but I'm already maxed out on lambs. So this computer, it's M. Collins Revolution. We can rotate all the dishes. Then we can open the communications door. No email today. And then on this computer, this is the point of no return, so go ahead and make a real save if you want to. This is where we irrevocably turn on Unatco. So the login is Napoleon Password Revolution. There's no email, and we can broadcast the message. NSF evacuation signal being sent. I'm receiving confirmation that the signal went out. You even reached Silhouette in France. Back to the apartment, let's clear out of New York. Uh, if only it were going to be that simple. That gives me 300 skill points, and my new primary goal is meet up with Paul and help him leave New York. Denton, Walton Simons here. What an expensive mistake you turned out to be. Corporal Lewis isn't responding, so I guess you took care of the troops. You won this time, but your kill switch. You'll be dead within 24 hours. Alright. Now we just gotta clear out of here and head back to the Ton. And then we'll get to what may well be the biggest problem we'll ever face trying to do a non-lethal playthrough. Which is escaping the raid without letting anyone get killed. Although I have a what may be a simple solution in mind. If it doesn't work, things will be complicated. In order to save Paul, you just have to exit through the front door of the hotel. That's easy enough. But a raid happens. It involves MIBs and a boatload of UNATCO troops. And Paul, he's invincible and he has an assault rifle with a lot of ammo. And then he'll switch to a knife. If you go out the apartment window like he tells you to, he ends up dead. Your buddies at UNATCO asked us to steer people away. So my thought is maybe I can just sprint out and get out before anybody dies. If that doesn't work, taking out everybody non-lethally is going to be tough. talk to Paul, that's when the raid starts. 
won't let me close his door. You'll notice. All right, let's talk to him. Your buddy Chad should have received the signal. Come on, Unat goes after both of us. Good. He'll be able to get his people to their base in the Paris catacombs. Did you find the records we collected on that weasel Walton Simons? I have a question about Simons. The instant I sent a signal, he ordered the troopers to hunt us down. Why does FEMA have authority over UNATCO? I thought FEMA was a domestic agency for flood relief and that sort of thing. His authority doesn't come from FEMA. He's part of a secret organization, Majestic 12. We don't know much more than the name. They plan to use FEMA as part of a scheme to shut down the U.S. government. Agent J.C. Denton, please put down your weapons and step into the hallway. UNATCO! Come on, out the window. We'll meet Jock in Battery Park. I can't manage the climb. You go ahead. The code to the gate they installed at the subway station is 6282. I can't just leave you here. Open up! Don't be a fool! Run! So, our new primary goal is find Jock's helicopter in Battery Park, the only way out of New York not controlled by Unatco. The code to the Hell's Kitchen subway station is 6282. And note is also the code to the Hell's Kitchen subway station is 6282. I'll be all right. Go. Let's book it. Quiet down. I can get this under target in my position. What the hang hell? On, I heard something. Ah! As you can see, the second we drop, it's over. We have to make it out the front door of the hotel in order for Paul to survive. And if we get all the way to Battery Park, we get skill points that I want, so... I have another idea. I do have 10 gas grenades. Let me just try this. This might do the job. If you're curious, your own grenades won't hurt you. Which is very good news. This may require some experimentation, but I'm hopeful that I can get it right. I don't even mind using all my grenades. Your buddy Jack. Natco. There it goes. Right. We have full sight. Okay, I'm fairly confident that's gonna work. Just need to get the placement right. I had everyone upstairs. Pretty easy to retrieve all these, so I just want to see where the holes are and plug them after everyone spawns in. Your buddy Jack. Come on. gonna work and it's gonna work pretty well. I think I need to move this one. 
put it here. I don't think this one's doing me any good. Alright, let's try that again. I just need to be a little quicker on Everybody the bike. Good buddy, Chad. Come on. How did they escape that, I wonder? Maybe I do need two over here. Or out here. What the hell? Oh, the cleaner bot is tripping them. Are you kidding? It's not kidding. Alright, well, it looks like I need to move fast, then. Your buddy, Chad. Natco! Close, we're close, folks. This is gonna work, I can tell. At least for the top level. I don't know about Everybody the ground charge. level. Agent Chase, you not go. I can't, man. I can't. Open up. Don't. We <laughs> should just trank him. Sniper's the one I forgot. Let's place one for him. Ah, oh, the damn cleaner bot. We'll just have to hope that we can manage it with the gas still in the Everybody air. Check. Salt shotgun and a combat knife. Okay, we haven't seen the assault shotgun before, so let's check it out. Weapon stats ammo loaded 12 gauge buckshot shells, ammo types 12 gauge buckshot shells, 12 gauge sabo cells. Base damage 20 shells, base damage 20, clip size 12 rounds, rate of fire auto 1.4 rounds per second, reload time 4.5 seconds, recoil 0 0.70, base accuracy 60%, accurate range 75 feet, maximum range 150 feet, mass 30 pounds, laser sight, scope, silencer all in A, skill, weapons, rifle. 
The assault shotgun, sometimes referred to as a street sweeper, combines the best traits of a normal shotgun with a fully automatic feed that can clear an area of hostiles in a matter of seconds. Particularly effective in urban combat, the assault shotgun accepts either buckshot or sabo shells. That's all well and good. Let's see, let's keep the pre-raid save, but let's go ahead and check on Paul. He's disappeared. But I know he didn't get involved in the fighting, so he should be okay as long as we go out the front door. So let's check on everybody we've taken down up here. No room for the knife. 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 Whatever, that's all good. Sniper rifle. No room for the rifle or the knife. That's fine. want that. Let's reload the real save. Here's what I'm gonna do. I can't believe I haven't thought of this yet. Let's, uh, drop that. Let's use one of these camos. We can turn invisible with this bad boy. Go, uh, deal with these bad guys at our leisure. Well, not that leisurely, I guess. Let's use the camo. Hang on, I heard something. You can see how fast it runs We have movement down. here, sir. All right, all right. Here, my plan now is just to get to the office, if possible, while creeping with the camo. Guess it was nothing. That's one. <laughs> Might as well go ahead and heal ten points of damage right here. Somebody's there. A guy in civvies. <coughs> it's Denton. You! Stop right there! Use another one of these. God, God. Ooh, hold it! Ooh. You! No dice. Dang. All right, they're covering all angles of the room right now, so I need to, maybe from here, I can get behind the guys in the corner and maybe even drop them. That would be handy. Denton! Use the box up here. Damn. Close, but no cigar. Don't have as much time as I thought. 
Maybe I can just get these guys. What the hell? Heck. Hang on, I heard something. What was that? We have movement here, sir. Okay, come on out. What the hell? God damn terrorist. actually going to work pretty well, I think. We have movement here, sir. Hear that? Everybody check weapons. We have movement here, sir. Okay, come on out. <coughs> Hang on, I heard something. Guess it was nothing. Okay. Contact, I have visual. False alarm, I guess. Engaging the enemy. Lock and... Oh. Are they why is the gas not affecting them again? That's what I'd like to know. Denton. Lock and load. This ain't over. Now I have one more gas Nail grenade. Nail this guy and we all get a bonus. Nail this guy and we all get a bonus. That I can try and use in the main room. When he gets away, Manderley's gonna have our ass. He's long gone. He was right here. What the hell happened? I was gonna say, I think at least... Some of these guys are facing me down, so let's just try and trank them. What the hell? Lock and load! You! Stop right there! Lock and load! Oh, he's back up here! Stay sharp, people. There's one. There's one. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. He was right here. What the hell happened? Man, he's vanished. Awesome. Let's drop another one. Help! Hold it! Find him. This guy's just a rookie. Seems like for whatever reason they're really bad at finding this spot. This ain't over.
I've got nothing. Knife, knife, nothing, nothing. All right, this hallway's clear. That's a pretty good milestone. And I have one more gas grenade, which would be a grand, which is a grand thing indeed, considering the task ahead out there. Tell you what I'd really love to do is get some of these guys with the baton and prod. And I'm safe up to there at least. If we clear everybody out, there's another med kit sitting up in Paul's room, so <coughs> go ahead and use it. Use one, I should say. No room for the sniper rifle, but we got sniper ammo and his knife. And he is merely unconscious, which is what we always want. Alright. Oh, look. A second gas grenade that never went off. And a third. That's all very handy, if you ask me. Three gas grenades, I should be able to hit all three troop clusters. What the hell? Ah! There's one. Ah! All right, let's get in there. Ah! There's one. Ah! 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 Oh! Close, but no cigar. It was that other corner I was worried about. Mm. What the mm. hell? Ah! That is decidedly not what I wanted. Maybe we should prank some dudes instead. Let's try and get both of these guys. Engaging the enemy. Get to my hidey hole, see if it holds up. Stay sharp, people. Nail this guy and we all get a bonus. Okay. He's gone. I think we blew it. There's one. Thank you. 
conscious, unconscious, unconscious, unconscious. Found an assault rifle and a combat knife. Well, that's all well and good. I don't want him though. They're taking some damage, but nothing's crippled. That's good. Look how many guys are left? Five by my running count. Contact, god damn. Dang. Okay, I probably just have to trank him because I'm not going to get in behind him. Not without him hearing. There's one. Let's go ahead and get his buddy, too. He's way too. Oh, he's the one I already got. Okay. Oh, somebody tripped the gas grenade I'd laid. Alright, let's get in there. Ah! Oh, that's not the right course of action. Let's prod him instead. Him too. Now that, I think, is everybody. How handy is that? Oh, Jojo had a crowbar. Don't want that. How about all the troopers? Sniper rifle and a knife. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Assault rifle I can't pick up. Nothing. Sniper rifle I can't pick up. I'm done with all those guys. Nobody dead. That's what I wanted. Well, let's lose the knife. Well, let's go back up here. Let's eat some of Paul. Let's take that med kit. Let's eat some of Paul's food. Regain some health that way. Now I believe all we need to do to, all we actually need to do to keep Paul alive is leave via the front exit. Oh, but wait, there's another med kit up there in the north room. I want that too. It's down here in the closet. Oh hey, some soy food. Eat that too. Good. With all that done, let's see if I remembered to heal at the water cooler. Yes, I did. Okay, let's head out the front door. I don't think my troubles are over. Not by a long shot. Nope. We got new guys positioned outside. But we don't have to worry about Paul killing people anymore. We're clear on that count, at least. Let's train this one. Lock and load. Engaging the enemy. We'll find him. This guy's just a rookie. Just 
one other one, but I'm pretty sure I can roll up on him. Assault rifle and a knife, blah, blah, blah. There's a UNAC code trooper. Also, I'm pretty sure I can just roll up on him, too. I don't know ex <laughs> I don't know exactly how many have spawned out here in the streets. A goodly number, I'd wager. But it doesn't matter. Take out the bot. God damn terrorist. did get tagged there, but I accomplished something important in dropping that robot. Let's go. Let's run up on this guy. Oh, more troopers. They're everywhere out here. There's one. Assault rifle and a knife. Just like practically everyone else. Nothing else on that guy. This street is safe now, which is good. Let's go get the guy in the park next. If we can, and I think we can. Hey, not if I go that there? slow, though, but I can probably go down the center alley instead and get him that way. I don't I think heard this... shooting. I'm just minding my own business. No escape. Let's head down here and get behind him this way. Okay, come on out. Dang. Ran a little too far. The hard part's over the... I heard shooting. The ground floor of the hotel is what I was worried about. This is all just... Finesse. So let's roll up on this guy and drop him like so many others. I hope this doesn't turn the riot cop on me. <laughs> Looks like it doesn't. Assault rifle. Your and buddies knife. at UNATCO asked us to steer people away from the town. All right, let's. Check things out over here now. This is the last street I need to clear. Trank this guy. Start things off. Oh! We 
We got a robot and a guard. I think maybe even two guards to deal with out on that street. The robot is obviously the bigger problem. And their patrol seems pretty well synced. That's unfortunate. Just means I'll probably have to trank the guard. I'm a little wary of doing that since I only have four shots left. But you do what you gotta do. Maybe I can explode the bot first. That'd be handy. Frank, this fellow. He's still around somewhere. Away, Manderley's gonna have our ass. I like my leg back. That's what I'm going for. He's long gone. All right. How's everything else? Assault rifle and a knife. Nothing else, nothing unique. This guy I know I can take out with the prod or ideally the baton. I'm going to do exactly that. <laughs> that was easy enough. That guy down there, pretty obviously going to have to trank, so let's do. That should be it for the streets, so let's head into the subway. I won't lie to you, I expected all that to be much more difficult. But we got the streets clear, so... The code to get into the They're subway. They're trying to kill you or something? You better get out of here. Run! Run! Well, now I'm interested. I want to see if anyone in uh, the bar has anything new to say. I certainly don't expect any hostiles in here. 
I'm in trouble. I heard the shooting. I'm trying to get to the subway. Man, you better just give up. A guy I know, he said Unaco's throwing everything they've got at this operation. What guy? How do you know? They moved a small army into Battery Park. Huh. Looks like I scooped you on this one. If you're the one they want, they'll get you. No way you'll get past the troops in Battery Park. I hope you make it. I hope you make it. Heck, let's take it all. Heal as many points as we can. Can't hurt, right? It all heals two points. It will make me drunk, but I can just wait for that to wear off. You'd better stay in here until it quiets down. Want a drink? Nothing, but thanks. Okay, yeah, I can't, uh... JC is a little too drunk to function right now. Alright, that's better. I guess his liver's augmented too. Anything else out here? Nope. Let's go to the next room. Another 40. Another soy food. 40, 40. Soda. Soy food. Soda, wine. Alright, that's everything we're gonna find in here. Which is actually a lot of stuff. Let's talk to Harley. He doesn't want to talk. All right, well, let's head outside then. Let's see, the, the last person to visit is Smuggler. Let's go back down there, see if he has anything new to say. Oh, look, the cure for drunkenness, a map change. Let me just make sure Smuggler doesn't have any anything new to contribute. Yes, pack bloodshot. And then we'll head to the subway. All the hard stuff is over. In the subway, there's no non-lethal way to take down Anna Navarra, so we'll just have to run past her to get up into Battery Park, which is where everything finally ends, no matter what. I heard shooting. Hey, I'm on your side, but I'm not gonna take on your NACO. This is what I've got. Okay. Not interested. Well, let's eat the candy bar, at least. I'm trying to improve my survivability in case Anna gets one or two shots off. And a soda. Okay, to the subway then. Don't worry. Paul can take care of himself. Well, that suggests Paul is alive. We'll know for sure just a little bit into the load's next area. 
Let's get out of here. Let's head to the subway now. Six, They're trying to kill you or something? 6282. JC, I gotta take off. United Coat troops are moving into the park. I'll land again when it looks safe. So, in addition to that message, we get 50 skill points for making it this far. One last time, chance to try out all my numbers. Still can't remember Gil Renton's. Four eight seven six five nine two four nine zero eight seven. Four eight seven six five nine two four nine zero eight seven. Nothing. 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 Attack at least. One hundred eighty-seven credits. That's fun. That's awesome. Otherwise, we got some soda. In addition to the two forties, I think that's everything on this platform. So let's drink up and then head through. Okay, we've made it to Battery Park. That's good. All we need to do is get past Anna, make it outside. We'll get 50 more skill points for that. And this section will end one way or the other. Because you get outside, when you get out there, you run into Gunther. And. You can surrender or choose to fight, but Gunther's invincible at this point. So you will lose the fight. Oh, and we can't get out this way. I didn't know that. Wonder about the other one. We may actually have to make it out the main entrance. No, nope, we can go this way. Well, maybe we can. God! Can't have that, that's for sure should be able to get up from here. He asked me. There we go. There is no escape. We surrender. Another peacekeeping occupation? Not any better. They expect us to take you and Paul alive. I surrender. Now we will find out what you know. Should be obvious that there's no way out of there. So, here we are in the new area. I'll update my... Update my real save. My quick save. Do one new real save for the start of a new level. Secret MJ-12 facility. And we will call that a section. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex. Bye-bye for now.